So the Detroit rapper just dropped his 12th studio album, um, The Death of Slim Shady, where he has his trademark skits, his crass humor, um, and uh, the internet has a lot to say about it. So he kind of name drops and alludes to a bunch of people, um, including but not limited to Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West, Lil Wayne, Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Alec Baldwin, Diddy. Cassie, I mean, the list goes on and on. So have you guys been, um, have you guys heard it? What have you guys been hearing about this album? I haven't heard the whole album, but I heard a majority of the album. And I think that for an Eminem fan, just a fan, a stan rather. A stan. A stan rather. I think that they're going to be very um, receptive to it. I think they're going to like the record, love the record. Uh, Because Eminem's going back to a little bit of his old ways. He is. And as Mm -hmm. he kind of drifted away from that, people are like, yeah, we don't like the the new Eminem the Eminem with the beard and the Emin- they, they don't like that even though he's a great I mean, lyricist he grew up. yeah That's but you know say. but the thing about it is, is what made him so super popular was that he was just very raw and he said things that maybe other people wanted to say and he just did it in his way and I just think that people are gonna love the album I thought it was great I'm an Eminem fan so back then and today people think he goes too far do you think he goes too far either I don't think he goes too far. I think it's just being honest. I don't think he's done anything to be like, whoa. Like. Yeah. Well, he does, a, to me, he does a lot of whoa yeah. uh, he things. Does. He does yeah. a lot of whoa But things. I think in this day and age, he's probably pushing the envelope because he knows, okay, if I'm going to get more of a buzz, I can say more now than back then. Back then, it was crazy. The funny thing that I thought about all his like name drops and you know subliminals there are two bunch of people that were not around when he first started, like 25, right. 30 years true. ago. So I think it's so funny that they're in his, he's like name dropping them now, you know? Yeah. I mean, he couldn't, he didn't have the chance back then, but it's just like, wow, you like have a whole new set of generation of people to kind of like yeah. pick on or dissect or analyze or whatever. So yeah, I mean, he made fun of Christopher Reeves, who was you know, he passed away. Superman was in a wheelchair mm-hmm. at one point in time. He's made fun of Sonny Bono hitting a tree and... Oh, no. Like, you know, he's right. done a lot. Well, on this one, people are specifically um, not exactly happy. He mentions the Alec Baldwin trial that's going on. What exactly did he say? I don't even know. <sighs> he just mentioned it. Like, okay. but people are not very happy. So as as you guys may or may not know, Alec Baldwin, you know, just recently got off of the rest manslaughter um they trial. dismissed the charges. Yeah, they well, dismissed I, it yesterday. But he recently, like, t- was talking about it in the album. And to me, that was kind of like a woe factor. Like, oh, my God, you're bringing up somebody's, like, death and trial. That's a little crazy for me. Like, to me, that was a little far. I mean, I, th- of course, Eminem does that kind of stuff. So it's not, like, out of place for him. But I was very surprised to hear him say that. Yeah, I mean, you know, he said stuff back in the day. Like, me and Marcus Sattlin went over to see Nicole. Like, Nicole Simpson. And he's like, we did it. Oh, like, yeah. you know, he he's go, he goes that far back. He's like Sonny Bono when he died tragically in an accident. He's made fun of him. Christopher Reeves, like I alluded to. And just so many other people. So if you are, they're trying to cancel Eminem. I'm like, he's, he, he cannot be canceled. I agree. Yeah. He can't. Because he's he's done so much in, a, in the hip hop world that they recognize him and his talent. It's just not, it's, he's been Eminem. He's being the yeah. character. So. And, and that's who he's always been. So right. Yeah. People that are his fans or stands, as you call them. Yeah. They know what he's like. They're not going to cancel him. No. Yeah. So we are in a different day and age than we were 25, 30 years ago. Yeah. You know, people get offended a lot more easily now. So do you think he should have abided by that a little bit? Or do you think he should have just went harder and went ham just like he did? I think he went real hard on this album. Yeah. I think he should have just stayed the way he is hard. Why is he going to pull back? That's not who he's always been. True. And um, He's not a people pleaser either. No. He's just going to do what would make sense to him. Right. You know? Are you guys sad that Slim Shady's dead? I'm sad. Well, we'll we'll see what everyone thinks because they're having that that pop up in LA this weekend. Okay. For it's the death of Slim Shady or whatever and yeah. That's I've it, seen the album. pictures. Yeah. But it's a pop up event that they're having where oh. you can go anyone can go and it's in Fairfax or something like that. So okay. we'll see how popular it is. And is that today think. or next weekend? It started I think yesterday. It's this oh. weekend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I think the album's going to do pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to do well. I think it's going to do where a lot of people talk. It's on Shade Room, every type of blog there is. He talked about, like, what you said, Megan Thee Stallion. Mm-hmm. And if, if you are somebody that he's talked about, would you take offense to what he said? Or are you just like, he's being Eminem and whatever. <laughs> just okay. put you in a, he's this Mariah Carey. It just goes on and on. I have always said this. 
that if even if my name is put in a rap song or in a song at all, good or bad, I would be so happy. You made it. Right. I'd be so yeah. happy. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, all these people that he name drops, I'm wondering, I hope they don't get mad. I mean, that's just his style. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. There's only one Eminem, so it makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, would you be mad if you what if he if, what if he dish you like you or your relationship or your children or I don't know. I think children's I think is different. I don't just like when people would speak about his stepdaughter, you know, people would come to her defense or Yeah. I, I think children should always be off limits. So True. I mean, it would just depend what was said. But I mean I think I'd be fine. I'd be like, oh, I made it. He said my name. Yeah. Now everyone's going to go Google who that is. Are you sure, Junior Leto, that you would be okay with it? <laughs> yes, because I would be absolutely I, I okay. I feel like no. you would like have a um, an arch rival at that time. Like You would be like, he's my nemesis. He said my name and he talked bad about me and I'm going to I'm going to write an R&B song about him. That's funny. Uh, I probably would not be upset about it because you could you could fall into the, the role of Nick Cannon when he did uh, Mariah Carey and then Nick Cannon came to Mariah Carey's defense and he just started onslaughting Nick Cannon and it was bad for Nick Cannon because he's not a good rapper. He tried to diss him back and it's like, I know. It's, it's a bad look. It's like, what am I going to say to Eminem? That's going to win the the rap war. Like it's, I can't say anything. He's gonna win. So is he like un like nobody should challenge him? Like untouchable. Untouchable. Like sh- like are we ever gonna get a, a beef from Eminem like we got from like Kendrick and Drake? Would anybody be up to beefing him like that? And it would be like a huge crazy big deal. Well, he's so big that he's gonna see if it's worth his time. Mm-hmm. So you know when the game at one point in time said he was a better rapper than Eminem, and he kind of. Tried to challenge him. Eminem didn't even give him a chance a day, and it fell it fell away. So I just don't think he's the kind of artist that you really want to. If he has the energy for you, he can get rid of you like he did with Ja Rule and that whole murdering thing. So mm. you don't, you really don't want to go there. Mm. If because um, it's proof it happened with Fifty Cent, who you're a fan, Fifty Cent, my my boy, your boy, him. Fifty Cent. I mean, and they just dismantled a whole label. So you just, I don't know. In today's day, you probably can get away with it. There's too much content out there. Who would like be good enough to beef him though? Like Jay Z, Lil Wayne. Um, I can't think of anyone else. I don't know. They respect him too much. They wouldn't even go there. You don't think? Okay. I think the only no. person I would go there is like some up and coming young rapper yeah. who's just yeah. trying oh, to get MGK, his name up there. Like yeah. MGK did a few years back. You mean? Well, yeah. When they went yeah. against each other, and then some people thought MGK possibly won. And I'm like, I, I didn't see how, but I don't know. I just. Yeah. He's too, too, he's a legend. It's like going after, I say, Michael Jordan or LeBron James in your basketball. Like, come on, man. It's, it's so high. It's just, it's not even worth the time. I'd be scared. I'd be scared to be him. <laughs> scared? <laughs> I would. I think you can survive, possibly. It just depends if he has the energy for you. If he does, it's a problem. He's a great in, uh, MC. Well, I'm excited to hear a little bit more of his album. Yeah. Me too. It's too bad we can't play it on the radio. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we'll you could. Be, we'll you would just have a lot of editing beep, beep, to do. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's real bad. We'll be right back. Okay.